All right, all right. Uh, we are here to try Cactus, uh, the demo. This game is planned to release in Mars of 2025. Let's see here. You're supposed to be a cactus here. It's gonna be weird. I've been a little bit of, on the fence of playing this because the style and goofiness of the game has been a little less. Is this really for me? But then I remember that Haiku the Robot. Uh, I looked at the trailers and some, and I was like, is this graphic? I don't know if this is for me. And then when I played it, it's like, oh my god, this is... Everything came together, so I, you know, I needed to try this because I do really enjoy FPS games. Um, Master foes evade traps, uh, uncover artifacts as a spiky hero in this unique indie FPS. Blending classic elements with quirky new ideas. So that's uh, the tagline of this game. So this game, when I tab out, you can't hear any music, is... Um, it's pause the music, it's not pausing the game. This is another game that is uh, quite heavy on the menu here. Again, it's not a big deal, but... Like, the menu could just here have been a static image. And then, you know, the settings menu here that you can go into with, like... Zero usage of your computer, yeah? like, it's... Uh, I don't know. I, I think it's unnecessary that every single game seems to have a super heavy 3d rendered background for the menus but all right let's do the most important things that i do every time i start a game is obviously go to the settings first before pressing play to see if i can fine tune the basic experience before so i don't have to stop my experience <clears throat> and tweak it immediately so in the general setting here is blah 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 okay you can tweak the color stuff here and the scale that's nice you can have different different types <clears throat> static or dynamic hit market mm -hmm. enemy hit flash camera shake uh, i'm gonna take off on that camera's way I'm gonna take off uh, <clears throat> so this is a bit weird uh, it is, does support full screen windowed uh, windowed full screen borderless full screen there and window mode but for some reason i've seen this in a few other games you can't change the display resolution you have to go to borderless full screen Set the resolution, apply, go to windowed, apply. <laughs> like, seriously, this, this is the most stupidest thing ever. And uh, it just seems like they just slapped, uh, they slapped this on in a half-assed way, right? Um like they like obviously resolution mode is key for windowed mode as is one thing that you want you know the size of the window in window mode is a key thing to change uh obviously it's uh, you can get around it but it's a little bit it's weird so upscaling all right i don't know what what kind of upscaling that one is this is pretty much a sharpening filter. Okay. This is a more modern FSR. Is this FSR 2? Maybe. <laughs> uh, but the DLSS, since I have an NVIDIA card, are most basic uh, thing to have. I'm gonna turn down that rent. This is weird. You're not supposed to be able to change the render scale in... Not supposed to be able to change the render scale in in DLSS mode. I'm gonna have to go into the game and try this because I don't know. I think this by default, like it should be like a.
like in 1440p i think the dlss balance mode you know should be maximum quality ultra performance yeah, this is weird it doesn't seem like this just seems like this is native uh, resolution and now it's using dlss at 75 percent the rendering scale All right, lots of good settings here. Might be even too much for some triple buffering. That's only for supposed to be for like open yield mostly, blah blah blah. So, all right. Um, hmm. Gamma saturation, holy crap, apply and filter strain. Performance, okay, so we have an FPS mode here. Quality, and you can also change even more settings here. If I'm using DLSS, I generally don't... Okay. Oh, uh, Bloom. No, thank you. Micro Shadows, Medium. Right, let's go with the default settings, maybe. Textures, quality, MIP streaming. What is MIP streaming? Don't know. <laughs> volumetric fog all right sound it started off with 80 percent good could have lowered it to maybe 70 but this is a good so you can boost it a little bit but you can also lower it a lot individual settings for music and sfx this is interesting not that common you can switch between your uh, if you have a different uh, sound cards in your that uh, that's great you can turn this one off perfect i don't that's a nice quality of life feature for, you know, if you record or stream or whatever. Be able to change this. You have remapping. I'm going to be using this as a quick look here. Or let, first, let's try with mouse and keyboard. Control for call. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yum space, sprint. WASD. Crutch behavior, hold, sprint, hold. And invert it. Mouse look. Okay. Trigger active reload with fire. Oh, okay. I think so. Pressing fire when you need to reload will reload. Sure. That's a good thing to have. And manually reload with that. Interact with F. Frenzy with Q. Peer launcher with E. Kill and fire. Melee with a side button. Hmm. Or V. Okay, you have double in that and I interview that. Not super heavy on the input uh, here, so interesting. Going to be more about the execution. You also have gamepad. You can then tweak. Just turning it off so it doesn't mess. It shouldn't be active, but hey. I have a controller plugged in, so who knows. And remapping for your controller, that's nice. Sprint supports, I guess, um, joystick uh, clicks. That's a good. Seems solid. Quality wise, you know, setting wise, it's really up there as a good thing. Uh, it's only a little bit I'm wondering about this one. What the hell is this? Like balance and uh, quality and ultra. It's, it's, it's supposed to change the render scale for you. So you're not supposed to do that manually. And then obviously this is the biggest problem with the window mode, I, that uh, it freezes the resolution settings, it's just stupid. So let's get into the game. This demo is for showcasing blah 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 and doesn't blah 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 blah. Well if it doesn't represent the final quality of the game, it's not good, right? Because I'm playing the demo because I want to know what the final game is going to be. A bit of a problem there. That is the whole point for demo for me is to like get a taste of the what I'm expecting in the final game. <laughs> Quite demanding here in 1440p. Don't know if this is Unreal Engine 5 or not. Let me tab out. Oop, it pauses the game, but it okay. 
I did turn off the pausing, but okay, it, it does pause when I tab out. Maybe that is just in the cutscenes. Let's try tabbing out. Right. So, you... Again. Uh, where was it? There we go. Okay, so if the game is paused anyway, this kind of is a moot point thing to me. All right. But all right, sensitivity is actually quite good for me from the get-go, but obviously that is not a problem because that you tweak yourself. Maybe a little bit on the higher side. Oh, okay. Oh, you have... Um... Uh-huh, interesting. Don't know how often we're gonna be... For now, let me just remap one thing quickly. I don't know how much I'm gonna be using melee. This is definitely a game that seems good to be using with um, controller. But I wonder how it works with the uh, weapon, if you have weapons, weapon swapping. Okay, so let's see. Let's look at this image here. We're going to change the resolution scale. Settings. It's quite demanding. For having DLSS, it's quite a demanding. So we're going to do this. doesn't make any difference the dlss implementation here is it seems almost broken how it's implemented like you shouldn't have a manual render scale yeah definitely something feels off with how this is like when you select DLSS, it should automatically change the render scale when you choose the different like modes. And it doesn't do that. It seems like the only settings that is making a difference is actually manually changing. Yeah. This DLSS implementation is not correct. I don't feel it's working correctly because... I think this might be correct for balance mode, around 66% render scale and then being upscaled. Um... We would like to see more like the FSR frame gen support in games. It's nice to have since this is quite quite demanding for how it looks in 1440p to be quite honest. But yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Render scale at 100% is just pretty much native resolution here. Ah, okay, so wait. The dynamic resolution then. Is this gonna work? No, I think I'd like the fixed setting more here to have more control. Oops. Let me try that again. Sorry for this, I'm trying to tweak it. Okay, it seems to be about the same. Not sure exactly how this... Um, how this works with the dynamic versus the, <laughs> the other settings. Can 
zombie chain stuff? How is this going to look? Alright. Um, let's do... Yeah, it's very heavy for like it's very basic looking but hey it looks it looks good here for sure like it, sharpness and texture wise using now the balance mode and the dynamic resolution mode uh, we are still get, we're getting smooth nice uh, 120 frames here But yeah, it is quite heavy for like using DLSS in 1440p for a game that looks this. It seems a bit maybe heavy, like it's. Uh, I'm wondering why it's uh, this demanding. Wow, dropping frames. Looks like it is my CPU that is limiting here. My Ryzen 5600X cannot perform yeah my Ryzen 5600X cannot maintain 120 frames because you can look in the top left at RTX 3070 in the top there it's not being maxed out it's at 75 76 percent usage but all my CPU cores are up and being pushed over you know around 50% most of them and some are even hitting up to 60% so this is CPU limited so if you have a Ryzen 5600X you you basically cannot get 120 frames in this game on the high settings so let's turn settings down and see if we can get 120 frames because that I really like let's go for medium settings uh, medium settings Go for medium. There we go. It also is quite very demanding on VRAM. Now, bear in mind, I am, you know, recording this also, which means, and I don't know what MIP streaming. We need an explanation here. I have no clue what that is. MIP streaming. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is quite high on VRAM for a game that looks like this. But I am recording, but we are pushing 7.2 gigabyte of VRAM for this graphic in 1440p. That is really high. And changing the graphic settings um, does not help. So all of the graphic settings here are now pretty much just turned down. Uh, still the GPU usage, usage is the same, which is weird. Also the FPS is still just not... Something is really weirdly optimized, like in this scene, for my CPU to be just destroyed. I have no idea what I can change to make it, you know, easier because it's not it's not this. My GPU still has, you know, room and the VRAM room and everything. And system memory, you know, no problem though. Using quite the, not a lot of system memory, but you know, the VRAM and stuff like that. So this shouldn't really be causing problem here. It could be the VSync option. Right? It does a little bit of a difference with the VSync options. 
unfortunately. I can keep V-Sync off, but it's still it's uh, all over the place here. A few more frames with V-Sync off. It uh, apparently is a little taking a li few frames there. Uh yeah, I, I'm guessing the, uh, at this moment, this demo at least, Ryzen 5600X is not gonna be good enough for you to get 120 frames, no matter of the settings. Um, yeah, that shouldn't have any difference, and it doesn't have any difference. It doesn't really change the look of the game, to be quite honest, and that is why that is quite interesting. Why this is so demanding game. Because the graphic is not really giving that vibe. This is gotta be on Unreal Engine 5, right? And for some reason, turning that one off increased my GPU usage when I turned down the textures. So let's just turn stuff back up because that's just no difference. Oh, no, thank you. Don't, 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 don't. Right, since I cannot get 100 frames, why not just push everything to the max? Uh, obviously, this means that... Wow, okay, turning here. No problems with performance. And this one, now we have performance problems. So this is definitely something the game developer needs to look into. Why performance is tanking when I'm looking at this wall. Something is being loaded in here behind this. Alright, so. Haven't felt a lot of shader compilations, others, but yeah, performance is all over the place for sure. It feels uh, pretty smooth though, you know, the playing and everything so far. Okay, we're looking little dude. Shooting feels a bit of a stutter there. Shooting here, he's pretty, pretty good here. Okay, explosives. Tag and detonate enemies with one tap. Shoot enemies to tag them. Reload. Detonate with right with R. Or when the tracker hits or, or R or when the tracker hits green. Okay. Okay. Sure, interesting mechanic. of a stuttering going on here. Oh, now it...
Oof, yeah, the biggest problem here is... Oh, wow. Okay, cool. It's definitely the performance here. The performance is all over the place. GPU is a little bit hammered, so let's let's uh, turn down the settings, I guess. Let's go for yeah. Let's keep that one on, but let's go for medium settings. There we go. Since I did use the change the like the texture setting, it seems like the VRAM users has dropped significantly. But it is my, definitely is the CPU here that is really struggling. Like looking at that, 120 frames, 70% GPU utilization, smoke. Is it the volumetric fog? No, not really. Yeah, it's just the CPU is too weak for this game, for some reason. It's a shame, you want good smooth frame pacing here. Really want good smooth frame pacing in a game like this. And there, it, it's not smooth here, the FPS and everything here is going crazy, depending on where you look. Keeps jumping. <clears throat> It seems like it's the shooting actually, the shooting in this uh, game can actually actually be pretty solid. Ah, that's that's nice. Right, I have the active reload. Reload. little arena uh -uh. what the hell of corners to get stuck on. Quickle blast. Charge to unleash all spikes in a blast. Consumes heat. Charge with the heat up. Hold to maximize damage. Release blast spikes. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, like shooting wise, it's pretty basic so far, but this feels actually pretty satisfying.
I'm guessing I'm supposed to go this way. But I cannot... Uh, I'm sorry, but you know, this... It, this isn't... Like, it, it's artistically... It's a clean and stuff like that and looking... And looks fitting, but... Um, it's not like... A, the graphic here, I just... To me, I cannot like be like, Oh, this looks like a game that... Uh, That it, that warrants this performance hit. It's just way too heavy. Right, did I sh oh, I can't show that now. Alright, doesn't... Fine, I was gonna check if this supported ultra-wide, but... Uh, you can't change the... Oops. Can't change the... Um, resolution in window mode. like this little idea with that. The reloading there. Perfect, you can do that. You can you can trigger a reload. Then I can fire to reload the starter. needed to unlock. Okay, I'm guessing this needs a key or what? Or does... Oh. Or does this? Huh. Okay, yeah. Okay. Key collector. Uh, can you save? No, seems to be auto saves only. Okay, so I might want to turn off automatic reload because that is definitely sometimes messing up this uh, this stuff here. Okay, we open the next gate. A wave of enemies.
HP up. Okay. So weird, 98% GPU utilization, 100 FPS, 80, 9, yeah, the, per the performance is definitely the biggest uh, thing so far. And like if the performance is gonna be like this, it would be, you know, so I could get 120 smooth frames, like FSR 3.1 frame gens, and then like DLSS uh, for the upscaling is what I would need to run this game smoothly. Uh, but it's just... It's, un it's unfortunate, because I don't feel like this game should need that. It just feels a little bit weird that this game should look like this and need a DLSS and frame generation. But it does need that at the moment and there is no frame generation in this game. Uh, so what I can do though is... Which is unfortunate, but hey, I guess this is a good of a time for me to try this. Um, where is it? Video. Oh, goes down to 30 frames. 60 frames. Apply. Resume. We're gonna remove that. And then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use lossless scaling for frame generation here. Go. Frame gener generation times 2. Resume. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Uh, oh, oops, sorry, let me double check this. Why? What? What? Let me try this again. There we go. That's interesting. Okay. So, now we have frame generation. Yeah. Okay, so here we can see... Oh, God, I don't like this. Let's turn on frame generation. It's definitely playable with lossless scaling frame generation here. You can definitely feel the input lag. It feels like you have mouse smoothing on. But now it's smooth. Oh, right. Wait, wait. Oh, shit. Can I take care of you? Just need to do something here. Uh, leave a cursor, clip cursor. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I can definitely feel the input lag here, so you know. I would definitely prefer to try this with uh, with the FSR frame gen rather than whoa cool jump pad uh, rather than using the FSR. It's very playable. Okay, that's uh I'm 
guessing, oh, the yampa is to get me back, probably. Hopefully this is smoother for YouTube, as I should be able to hopefully keep 60 frames stable. Uh, I could try one thing though, sorry. Uh, I'm trying to just, let's see, which is it? the V-Sync sync mode default. Let's turn off V-Sync in lossless scaling here, just to see how that's gonna work for me. Let's see this very snappy direct input, but god damn, I cannot play in 60 frames anymore. Right, oh yeah, this is quite good for... Alright, turning off uh, or turning on... Uh, turning off sync mode in lossless scaling and a low tearing, removed my... The kind of mouse smoothing feel. Okay. Don't notice any crazy... Oh, there is definitely tearing. This might be... Whoop. Oh, wow. Something weird happened. What the heck? Don't know what happened there. Something weird I think it is something, it is probably because I'm running this game in windowed mode and um, yeah, definitely something with that, uh, unfortunately. I could play this, you know what, I could just play this, no, wow, it seems like the display resolution has changed. It does support ultra wide screen. So there you have it at least. Now we can can showcase that I guess. Let me do this. Oh. Right. So look at the, the top in the on the screen. We can just see the sky here above the sky thing blue thing there. There we go. And I'm gonna change to 1440p. So, ultra wide screen here, 32 by 9, is working correctly. It is just expanding horizontally, which is great. Let me try to see if we can. Uh, if I can do this. This is so annoying, unfortunately, that you have to do this. Um, so my screen got all messed up and that is not the game's fault. That is definitely just uh, the combination of me running this game in window mode and that I was using lossless scaling uh, in combination with that. <clears throat> Sorry for this, you just have to do a quick check there. But I want to try lossless scaling a little bit more. So there we go. I have a low allow tearing and everything, and with allow tearing, this frame generation with lossless scaling is really feeling great now. This is how I want to play the game, you know, with the 120 frames. Whew. Or fast paced. For fast-paced FPS games, this is what I want to play it in, 120 frames. And it's minimal. This game is perfect for lossless scaling, actually, because it has very sharp, simple graphic. 
Uh, obviously, you should not see that. Uh, the only thing that you should see now is just... Oops. Is just the pure game window. The, the, the no, you should see the non-frame generated stuff. I like the, definitely this. It is interesting having this uh, reload thing there. But you might want to turn off active reloading. Um, oh, you have to do that first. Uh -uh. Yeah, you might want to turn off the active reloading so that you know when you reload yourself. Uh, what was it? Was it in mouse and keyboard? Camera sway. Trigger active reload with fire. Uh, that could be something that you don't want to have. I'm gonna have to do this. This looks a little bit buggy here, but okay. <laughs> but yeah, if you if you are like me sitting on a Ryzen 5600X and you cannot get 120 frames. Uh Lossless scaling is uh, an interesting option that can give you 120 frames frame generated. And I can say it looks really goddamn good, the frame generation in this simple game here. And with the bonk hello tearing, the V-Sync off. Uh... What, what the fuck? Oh, okay, no, okay, that, this, these settings did something, I was expecting something different, but okay. Yeah, the brain is oof, is working, working really well in this game here, wow. This is, oh, a little bit of a sheep. Stuff going on here. Yeah, okay, so a lot of sheep traps. Secret collector, okay. I'm not going for seekers, I wanna... Where am I supposed to be going? It's a good chunk of, oh, you need three keys or something? The good chunk of a demo here. would be able to play this better I believe with my steam controller oh you need to blow that one up for maybe a secret or something else a 
But yeah, the biggest problem with this game so far is the performance. Like I shouldn't be, I shouldn't have to be using like a, a third party program. Let's lost the scaling, you know, in a game that looks like this to get um, 120 frames in 4040p with the RTX 3070. Uh, I don't really feel that, but... Run! It's definitely a little bit of... Um, almost too much of this just ambush stuff for my... <laughs> my liking? I found secrets. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. There's no map or anything. It's just a very open area here. Wow, the performer seems to have problems here. <laughs> I'm not sure where the, like the game what to do the game wants me to do <laughs> I went here right okay activating something below Yeah, I don't know what to do, really. What is this? Something closed? Yeah, I activated something with this. I don't know how to, like, get in or how to blow it up. That's how you do it. It feels weird. You need to be able to like do something else because just just shooting it doesn't work. So now it's going to blow up. Yeah, it's got to be something else. Um, 
yeah, the graphics is not good here and the performance again is you know definitely not <laughs> in the good range um even at 60 frames here the my rtx gpu seems to be quite like up to 90 85 almost 90 percent gpu utilization and then it just drops down to like 66 percent Oh, oops. Uh. Yeah, if the game was running smooth and nice and everything, I could have probably like focused more on just the pure shooting. Seems seems pretty, you know, decent and good. Don't sh I'm not really sure about the level layout. Okay, why? I I've set my cursor to be clipped. Why is my cursor clipping out? Alright. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure about the level design because I, I feel I sh that I shouldn't be stuck like this heavy like I am. I just don't know where I'm supposed to go now. I feel very lost. I feel like I might be stopping the... Might be stopping my little demo try here. The performance is just a little bit... Yeah, the fact that I just have no clue on how to progress here. <laughs> really, um... Yeah, I feel I've been been to all of the places and what I can. And the stuff that I can think of here. My VRAM uses 5 gig now. Let's see, quality. If we turn off that one, what is that going to be? Oh, okay, no. Well, okay, so that is like conserving VRAM there. I don't know if that is good or bad, but. Graphically, I can't really tell a difference with it on or off, so... Yeah, I guess I'm not smart enough to solve this puzzle here. I feel I need keys for this, but... The closest thing I got was... Can I go in here? Nope. The only thing I got was this. 
that I activated. That is not working, so... I can't... I can't, like, fire this one. not been what am I supposed to do here <laughs> oh there we go wow that was felt a little bit hidden hello We got another one open. <laughs> that sets this in motion. I feel like this one has like a secret purpose though. Is that gonna blow up now? <laughs> Not sure what we do. Oh, we maybe we need it for this one. Yeah, yeah, we need it probably to get to that place. Damn it. It's a cool idea, but the pushing here is a little bit... It's a little bit wonky feeling. There we go. Okay, so what uh, did I get a key? What did I? Right, I must have picked up a key here. I just didn't see it. There's nothing more here, so yeah. Let's see if I can progress here. Otherwise, I feel it been a nice uh, good solid try of the demo if I can no I don't know how to get out either oh we have this one oh what and an ambush yes no not yet soon or the same with this checkpoint okay we got a key one out of three keys. One out of trees. What the heck? Yeah, I, I, I don't think I'm gonna finish this demo, man. I think this is a good solid try. You can play this yourself. You can solve this puzzle because 
I don't know where I'm supposed to get the two other keys. Well, I guess... Oh, alright. You have more of these. Okay. Yeah, those... Maybe put them a little bit more down. Maybe, I don't know. I'm probably a stupid not remembering... Uh, probably as me stupid not remembering... All of the game mechanics. Holy crap. This is not a good fighting room, dude. <laughs> Sometimes a tiny bit too much uh, ambush stuff. And those are absolutely insane. A bit too crazy for my liking. It does feel definitely quite interesting. It doesn't feel like this is some game that I would like. Huh? Did I get some? Or what? That I probably I'm gonna be more curious about uh, reviews and stuff to see. Okay, interesting little puzzle things though. That is for sure. Lots of spiky crap. Yeah, this uh, very spiky arenas is not really doing it for me here. <laughs> That's uh, quite a sh big area of explosion you have. We have the second key, and you get the teleporter. Right, so... Uh, I'm gonna guess... Yeah, okay. I missed those. That's my bad. Should remember what the game taught, taught me in the earlier here. Oops. Could be good to have, like to be able to turn off the auto reloading there, might be a good thing. Sometimes that messes up. Uh, messes me up of uh, accidentally triggering the explos explosion thing. Okay. But yeah, definitely again the the performance is the, was is and the, you know was for me the big problem here. Now with the frame generation here, and uh, having 120 smooth frames is much more fun. But what do you want me to do now, game? Do I have to blow it up from the outside? Is that a hint that I can blow it up from the from the other side? Don't know. Uh, obviously it would be fun to finish the demo, but... Uh, 
some of these are quite interesting. <laughs> okay, it's gotta be that I'm supposed to know. No. Guessing this is showing me that that is bl that's something that you can blow up from the other side, but right, it's it's from this side, isn't it? But there's no explosion uh, that I can get here. Oh, that's... there we go. Okay. That was a tricky one. That is for sure. Some interesting puzzle going for it. Alright, I'm thinking this might be the end of the demo, so let's see if that is the thing. There's a lot of this, uh, like, uh, crazy arenas here. I guess it has a little bit of the Seer Sam vibe, but it doesn't feel as polished to me. There we go. Fear launcher. 
Grow and eject an explosive. Consume heat charge by holding E to grow. Watch. Blah, 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 blah. Release the launcher. Okay, so a lock rocket launcher with E. Oh, so they have different um, charge up. Hmm, interesting. Different charge up for that that you need to keep an eye on. I, th I would like the HUD if they could uh, again swoop the HUD in because you're gonna have to look at the HUD quite a lot here. I feel like swoop it, swooping the HUD in would be fun. Oh, okay, that they uh, locked me in again in a fight arena here. Yeah, a little bit too much of the ambush for my li liking, the constant ambush thing here. Uh, that's just maybe my personal opinion here. It's just a little bit tiring here. With the constant just fast enemies swarming me. Oh, hello. Is there a sunbeam that I can recharge in here, or...? Long, long demo. I think I'm way overdue on the playtime on my Let's Try. But that's a good thing. It still means that it is, uh, you know, something interesting. That's my blast, my blast. I'm supposed to bl blow that one up. I'm guessing I was supposed to blow it up with my... My new found ability, but I can't use that. And I don't know how to recharge it. Was it just bounced off here? I feel like I'm supposed to blow that jump, 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 do something. Activate that, blows it up. 
But it could also be be that I need to. Could also be that I would need to like push some kind of explosive things into that one. But I don't see anything, so I think we're gonna just sweep around this little arena a little bit, and then uh, I'm done with this test of this demo. Well, we have one more. I guess I can tie. Oh well. I can take one more try at blowing that one up. I have one more shot. I, I don't remember if I could remote detonate. There's nothing to tell me that right now. The tutorial, I don't remember if I could remote detonate my little explosing thingy there or not. These are... Right, I guess I could detonate it remotely, alright. Okay, so... What? I don't have any more... Last, wow. Like, it's fun with the puzzle here and stuff, but please make this stationary. They are too inconsistent. God damn it. Now with the puzzle here, I don't know, it feels a little bit uh, kind of crazy out of place almost, with like... <laughs> crazy fast pace, and then you have this super slow section where it just comes to crawl through this puzzle things. Like, what was the point there? I didn't even get a new launcher. I blew, blew this up. It didn't... Give me a new launcher. Like, there's no button here. What was the point of this? What, is, what did this bring? Oh, it activated that one. Yeah, the puzzle here is... Maybe it activated this one. Oh, yeah. A little bit... I don't know. Something about the puzzling doesn't feel... The, that it had the smoothness that I'm looking for. Okay. And that opens that one up. Right, yeah. And we have another just wave of enemies here. We have another super fast <laughs> crazy enemies. <laughs> Are you still? There we go. I do think it's a fun mechanic here overall with like the reloading and stuff. I don't not sure what I feel about the uh, this shard shot and the launcher being being uh, like the way it is might make sense in the full game. 
some of the enemies definitely are just too like the rats here they are just stupid in how fast and crazy they are <laughs> i'm stuck there in the corner and these arenas here it's, it's, it's too many places you just get stuck on some weird angles with that enemy is not way too crazy just oh. way too crazy of an enemy that that one is not feeling good at all to fight the rat enemy just in that type of arena and everything I would slow down or remove that or don't have the rat enemy combined with other enemies something because that is just not to me personally I feel that's an awful ooh, awful one <clears throat> while you have your new frenzy abilities I guess we can try it out is this or collect or collect instant frenzy okay so that's a, another power up thing here I'm guessing they want you to do this. I also don't know if we needed a sprint button. Just make one base speed and uh, match it against enemies oh it's one of those games that want you to fight minions and and the big boss The spikes here, okay, definitely. Yeah, this is not my type of thing. Very bullet sponge heavy, and then a ton of these minions. <laughs> it does seem like this recharges by fighting, maybe? That's cool. favorite boss with tons of minions and uh, big boss but hey it works uh, let's see what was it that opened i'm guessing we oh that one oh more minions <laughs>
<laughs> okay, this probably must be the end of the demo. All right, yeah. Hmm. Let me turn off the frame again. Yeah, okay. One hour... 65, isn't that? Two hours? One hour, 65 minutes. Isn't there 60 minutes for one hour? Okay. Back to the menu. There we go. Let's finish this one up. So, obviously... Uh, very simple graphic style, but it is fitting and everything. It doesn't bother me that much, except for the performance. In At this point in time, this game, you know, needs frame generation. So, like, my Ryzen 5600X cannot reach 120 frames stable. And I don't see anything graphically or gameplay-wise that just... Would warrant that i'm just guessing this is either unoptimized or has using one of the maybe the heavy unreal engine features something i really wish that you know could tweak the performance or you know, it needs frame generation which sucks uh, and frame gen generation through it's may it mainly gonna be a frame generation through fsr3 that supports I feel the mixed mode or you know at least the FSR frame generation so older GPUs like the RTX 2 and 3 series that you know that otherwise cannot support the frame generation and for AMD's card obviously because this game just when I activate the lossless scaling and then I also you know I did it turn off the kind of the V-Sync there it, the input wasn't input latency was not a problem with vsync on in lossless scaling i had like a mouse smoothing feeling very playable but you know without it it was super playable like no really input latency that bothered me and then the game just i could just play the game i wouldn't have to bother, you know bother about stuttering and issues like that because you know this is a fast paced game you need a stable frame rate I would much rather lock this game to 60 frames if you if you don't want to use lossless scaling or any frame generation if and you have a GPU like me that cannot maintain or CPU more like it that cannot maintain the 120 frames it's much better experience in the games this to just lock it to 60 frames so you get more of a nice smooth frame pacing because when it, before I used lossless scaling and the frames went from you know 80 to 120, it's just stuttering weird. Maybe if you have a VRR display, it can kind of work. But going from 80 up to 120 frames, it probably still won't feel super smooth. I feel VRR and you know G-Sync and G-Sync compatible and and those techniques they works best in like maybe a 20 frame window so you know 90 to 110 or 100 to 120 80 to 100 something like that so that is definitely the biggest problem here then you know it's more gonna come down to you know your play style what you like to me this kind of ambush wave thing was a little bit too much and i feel that maybe some of the puzzles maybe or must not puzzle well, yeah, let's call it puzzle. Maybe it could be toned down or simplified or something to may maybe keep the pacing up a little bit. But it could just have been me just being stupid or um, being tired, you know, just not in the best frame of mind. You know, hey, could just be. And then I feel uh, it gets maybe a little bit repetitive here. Again, could just be, you know, my personal playing preference. But you know, you have the room, they have the, pretty much here, throughout this demo you have the same like three enemies, three, four enemies, and that just goes on repeat here. So it felt a little bit like I just, I couldn't play the, an entire long full game of that. And then obviously in the full game you might have more enemy variety, it might be the arenas are more mixed up. 
But it was just so many cramped arenas just with just waves coming, just spawning you. But everything that's, you know, it's alright. Shooting feels very solid. But you also doesn't seem like you're going to have different weapons. So you might only be stuck with these like uh, rage mode, your bomb launcher and your basic uh, firing. And that could also feel a little bit like underwhelming unless they add and maybe you can upgrade them or something like that but if again if this would be my base weapon for a full length game that would feel a little bit underwhelming um but hey again it could be upgrades they could add a different you know main weapon that you might be able to swap between in full game so it could change a lot of things up with that but, and then, you know, we come down to that one of the enemies, the rat enemy just feels way too OP crazy. That just like zooms at you at insane speed. And combining that with tight spaces and other enemy types, I feel that nerf that enemy or make that enemy spawn in better places. But there is a lot of potential here. But not... A game that draws me in immediately. I hope the demo stays up for you to play. Because it might be something you really enjoy. Those kind of hectic explosive moments. That something just you are swarmed with enemies. Uh, and that might be that you really enjoy that in fighter spaces and stuff like that. But uh, for me I'm going to be, you know, I'm sure I'm, I'm going to hear or see more of it. Because it has a lot of solid cool stuff going for it. The reloading thing is definitely a very interesting mechanic here. Um, but again I feel that maybe it's just maybe overused almost. Like it would be fun if it would, I don't know. Like if, you, if you're gonna, I don't know if you would feel it is a cool mechanic if you have to use the reload blowing for 8 hours in a row. Then you might just feel, oh man, I have to keep track on this. You might or might not. During this gameplay I felt it was an interesting mechanic. But if I were to have to like time the reload for 8 hours constantly, I don't know how I would feel it, if I would feel... That it was just yes, being overplayed later on. Hard to tell, hard to tell. Might seem like I'm coming off uh, on a negative. It's not, definitely, because I felt, you know, compelled to play through the entire demo here. And once the, once, you know, the kind of like the base performance was out of the way, you know, just yes, going for the gameplay here, I don't. It wasn't anything that really bored me or stopped me or made me feel bad. Just a few times when the puzzle kind of stomped me. And it was definitely one time it was my fault. Because I had the kind of like faith zoned out. The, you could tag the, the crystals like the open. And they were a little bit higher away from the door. If they would have placed more closer down by the door. Maybe I would have just paid quicker attention. But I'm gonna give that to my own stupidity for that one. But other than that, you know, not a lot of few annoying things. Except for one a few times when I activated like maybe one of these uh, whirlwind things. That they didn't really showcase that and I didn't notice it quick enough. That like maybe something to highlight that. And one with the game gameplay thing. Like it's like... The, really was a little bit bugging me was definitely that the whirlwind that swings you up that they were moving that kind of just was annoying to like they needed to be in a good place and then you have to hit them for you to reach enough height to hit the ledge just make them stationary or move in a different some you know i can see that you have them maybe move like more in a straight line pattern for some maybe jumping stuff like that but when I'm just supposed to get up on one building with one of these whirlwind wister things there. Um, then make them stationary. I don't want to have to wait for them to hit a good spot for me to get up. Or make me jump a bit higher so I have more of a leeway to do that. 
yeah i think that's the base thing De definitely like performance is the ma major thing here like a ryzen 5 x should be able to hit and maintain that stable 120 frames in a game looking like this and then uh, there were quite a lot of like my rtx 37 like even with the dlss there that is was a bit interesting how it worked but when you kind of just get it down even on medium setting it was a crazy amount of just popping in front of me like shadow popping and stuff and it doesn't i it's like this feels way too heavy for what you're getting graphically just i it, yeah <laughs> it does but thanks for watching you can follow or check back to the channel if you want to see me try games and video stuff related things yeah if you want to see let's plays these are on my twitch channel halken strong but uh, yeah, you can leave a comment or a like if you want to do that. But if nothing else, thanks for watching. Have a great day and bye for this time.